Hello and welcome to the how to upload to Spreadshirt automatically video. For all the Spreadshirt beginners, I should explain one thing in the beginning and this is that Spreadshirt has two different regions. One for Europe and the other one for North America. This is also the reason why you have here in Flying Upload two different Spreadshirt uploads, one for America and the other one for Europe. You need two different accounts, but the upload process is exactly the same. This is also the reason why today I show you only the upload for Spreadshirt Europe. If you are here in your Spreadshirt design dashboard, then you upload your image, you click on it, then you can here select your products or even better, you can select here your product template, then you go here to next, enter your title, enter your description, enter your text, and then click create to publish it on Spreadshirt. Of course, this goes faster, this goes more efficiently, and of course it goes also in a way where you save a lot of time. And how it's done, I show you now. So, what do you need now to start your automated upload to Spreadshirt? First of all, you need one or more designs with a finished listing that you can publish to Spreadshirt. The second thing you find here in Options and Settings, Auto Login and select here your Spreadshirt platform. Here you enter your Spreadshirt data. No worries, it's all encrypted and also locally on your PC, so it is as safe as possible. And the third thing you find here in templates and then you select here Spreadshirt again and then you enter here your Spreadshirt product templates for the upload process. How do you get them? You go here to your Spreadshirt account, you click on an image and then you are already here where you have the product templates. You can do one yourself or you already created one and then you simply copy the name of the template you want to use, go back to Flying Upload, enter it here, click save and this is everything you have to do. Your configuration for the Spreadshirt upload is now finished. One thing I want to show you is, if you use here an image with a size from 4500 and 5400 pixels, Please, the designs you upload, make it in the same format. The reason is, Flying Upload simply replaces your image with the, the old one, with the new one. And if they have the same size, it will place exactly the same. But if your new image is, for example, bigger, then of course, the scaling from your product template is not suitable anymore. This is why you should always have a look that the template you use with the image has the same resolution and same size like the images you newly upload. You are now ready to start your upload. You go here to the upload window and then you click start for the Spreadshirt upload. Our Chromium will open and then also it will log you into your Spreadshirt account. Here in the beginning on Spreadshirt it is usually that you have to solve a capture. Simply click this and then solve it. Afterwards the whole upload will run automatically. You can of course also set the browser window to full screen and then after the login flying will start immediately to upload your first image then it will take probably a few seconds till Spreadshirt has processed your uploaded image and when it is processed Flying can, uh, can click on it and continue the upload process. Here on this side it will select exactly the product template you configured a moment ago in Flying Upload and then it will enter here your listing. And click on create. And this is 
how simply your upload is now done on Spreadshirt and you will get a successfully uploaded message and this is how it is done. Of course, also on Spreadshirt it is possible to make your upload more individual. You go here to Options, Settings, Templates and on Spreadshirt and the first thing I want to show you is you can create here specific templates. These are templates that are that you can enter that are taken from the uploader based on the configuration options here for the design you tagged. For example, I show now here, go now back here to the product template set on Spreadshirt. You or I have in this case, for example, a template that is only for black background for men and for adult only, so no youth. And I can enter this for example, or I would enter this here in this case. So it's only for men and it should be on a black background. And this means if I take my design now like that, only for men and only for the color black, exactly this template would be taken. And you can do this basically for all the settings, 21 in total. So everything with the types, everything with the colors for black, white and colorful. So you have 21 different template options. The default one is always taken when a specific one is not found. For example, in this case, for this configuration, this one will be found. If I delete this, so it is empty, it would always take this one. And this is how the specific templates work and how you can use them. The other part you have are advanced settings. Here you can, for example, select if you want to upload to the marketplace, what we did a moment ago, or for example, you could also create a spread shop, then enter here the spread shop name, and then you can also upload there. Then you can also enable here the Spreadshirt automatic translate. I show you this also. This is this button here. So that Spreadshirt automatically translates your language or your listing language into the other languages too. And then you have here an optimized image version. Um, this is not for the designs I showed you before. This is just for some designs who or where Spreadshirt thinks not the right format. But you, to be honest, this option you usually don't need. And if you don't know what this is, then simply ignore it. Um, it won't have any influence, to be honest. And then important, you can also set here your default language. This is also here. And for example, you see here that my default ling language is Deutsch, so German. This is because I created my Spreadshirt account in Germany on .de. And, but you see that my listing, for example, is English. So what would I do here? I would simply set here the English language and then save. And then during the upload, it would change here the language also to English. So it suits again. And yeah, with this, you can set simply the language where your listing is in. So you can also, for example, upload a, a French listing and then you simply set it here, your language to um, French, and then it would upload to this language. And then it is also translated right by Spreadshirt. Yeah. And these are the um, Spreadshirt configurations you have here in the template section. And this is how you can make your, um, yeah, upload more individual. And last, I show you common errors that can happen. But don't worry, it's really just two small things you have to keep in mind. The first of all, and probably the most common error is the template. If you enter here a template that does not exist, if you, or we type in here, for example, a name, I don't have in my account and then we try to upload
and flying will upload the image again. Then jump here to the template section and now the error will happen because now Flying uploads the product templates and wanna search this AAA template I have, but it's not there, it's nowhere here. And this is why Flying simply will stand still because it it waits like if the, if the template appears, but it's not there, so it would stand still. And I think after like three or four minutes, the browser would simply close and try again. And this is like the most common error. So just make sure that your template name is right. And the second thing I wanna show you is, or the second error that can happen is a too small upload window. So this is the size that flying upload sets and you should never make it smaller than this. For example, like this or even worse, you minimize it. Because flying needs to click the elements, the image, the product templates and so on. And if the window is too small or you have minimized it, flying can't click the element and yeah, it would simply wait or it would simply break down because it says, hey, there is nowhere this element. So I have to restop because there is an error. Simply leave it like flying opens it or even better, you make it full screen, then yeah, everything is always big enough probably and flying can click without problems. Background upload is no problem, simply don't minimize it. And these are the two common errors that could happen, but if you keep it in mind, everything should be fine and the upload is successful.